to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. James, what up, girl? What up? What up, Grew? What up? Oh, what's up, Grew? What up? Uh, Grew? Uh, Ow. Ugh. Yeah. Everyone Good to see just you. Turned on. You too. Good to see you, James. Hey, what you been up to, dude? Did you smoke any meats this weekend? No, you didn't, but I fucking did. You did. You smoked the shit out I of like me. I like to smoke meat and bake cakes, and yeah. that's just me. So, I tried. It was practice. Thank you for the tips, everyone. Uh-huh. I think I, I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm gonna move forward and do better. I'm gonna say this for your first attempt. Okay. It was phenomenal. <gasps> oh, thank you. For real. So ribs could. Yeah. No, I know what, everything that I. We had a done. bunch of people from the neighborhood over. I think you just sent on a text of like meat test. I said um, I'm having meat practice because mm-hmm. I. Eventually, me and another guy that has a Traeger in the neighborhood yeah. want to do a smoke off, but he is way more advanced than yeah, me. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't do a smoke off already. Like, mm-hmm. who the fuck do I think I am, right? Um, who do you think you are? Who do I think I think I am? A, I'm, I'm a girl Fieri. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh <laughs> God. Um, but no, not really. Uh, so I said. Hey guys, no big deal. Going to be doing meat smoking practice mm-hmm. at my house. Yes. Come on down. You know, put leave your judgment pants at home. Yep. Put on your non-judgmental sweats. Yeah, put your loose. planet's fitness outfits mm-hmm. on. Judgment on free zone. Put on your purple and yellow and mm-hmm. come on down. Yeah. Uh so yeah. I don't know. It was the first attempt. I definitely we didn't up, end up eating <laughs> The pulled pork until 10 o'clock at night. So I had some diehards that stuck around. That pulled pork actually takes nine hours. Like, that's not a joke. Yeah, so that's it, nine to it's ten. It's a pork butt. Right? It's a pork butt. Yeah. It's a pork shoulder. Okay. But yeah. Eh, whatever it was. Butt shoulder, it, if that makes sense. Goddamn tasted great. Right? Yeah. Um, I will say, I don't know if there's really a sponsor great. anymore, but I did use Grill Your Ass Off. And you know they're not, but uh, one of their—if you buy one of their seasonings, it lasts thirty years. Right, and, and it's so great. I still, had I love it. I love grilling your ass off. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah, and so everyone was like, "What the fuck?" Like the flavor, mm-hmm. at least, was on point, and I think that's half the battle, if not seventy percent, sixty percent. Right. Your so everything you did—the ribs and the pork butt. The mm-hmm. pork butt was cooked long enough. Like that was perfect, I thought. Right, but thought it, was it was really like, good. Again, that was nine nine hours. Sure, uh, ribs yeah. could have used a little longer, I think. Yeah. Um, and look, they were fine. They were like they were passable. Great. They were really good. But ribs. I wanted them to be so fall off the yeah. bone. Yeah. Yeah. So I know now what I need to do. Where you know you've got to wear a bib around your waist because it's gonna fall right off the bone right in off your the bone, crotch, and then your meat's gonna fall off your bone. Yeah. That's what I want it to be like. You need longer. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing. Time. So anyone who smokes knows that like all you need is good flavor mm-hmm. and a shitload of time. So what do we learn for Christmas? Because we're going to do both okay. on Christmas. So on Christmas, I, I'm debating what I'm going to do as far as like, do I get up at three in the morning and do mm. the first part of the smoke on the ribs? This is probably super interesting to everyone. Uh but I'm really into it. So no, I'm a, lot, talk about a lot of people it. do so love I'm gonna it. I'm going to do the 180, like getting the real smoke flavor in there. Yeah. I think from three to like six in the morning. Maybe. I'm debating. And then I'm going to do the foil. So I do one, two, three ribs. Mm. They're like three different things. So I do the smoke first. Then I put foil with like the apple juice and the things to tenderize it. I'm going to do that for a shit ton. Yeah. Like way longer. Than you think. Okay. That's what Josiah, my grill master, told me. Sure. So super, super long. And then I'm going to do just the grill for the last part to really caramelize, get that crispy part on the outside. Yeah. Hopefully, man. I mean, I don't know. And then. How long long do you think the ribs should take? 
What was the final answer on that? I think it should be 10 hours. Okay. Yeah. So 10 hours of smoking. Yeah. And no, then... the, yeah, 10 hours, 10 hours in total. Pork butt. And the pork butt, same. Okay. 10 hours. But uh, the issue is that is that they both need different temperatures. So you actually shouldn't be doing pork butt, butt and ribs together because they both need ah. like different temperatures and different times with stuff. So not really sure. I, I think if I just let the ribs go for a long amount of time, I can do pork butt as well. Mm -hmm. But it's a tricky thing and you probably shouldn't do it. Like if you go to a smoke master like franklin's let's say in fucking austin right are you being serious mm -mm. I, what do you mean why that one um they're just they've kind of gone mainstream and that they're like on every cooking show i just got off the phone with them for what uh for drinking bros maybe an hour ago what are you gonna do uh interview him the guy yeah uh, when uh well they're they're setting it up right now I for next week but uh we're good. waiting for another guest to confirm Here's the here's the thing. So I didn't know. I didn't like. I didn't. I just said, yeah, I, that sounds great. And they were like, he taught a master class. I guess. Oh, he's amazing. On um, you know, on Facebook, you see those ads for like master class, like uh, De Niro and acting and mm -hmm. John yeah, yeah, yeah. comedy. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, James. Well, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to go for that one. If you interview him, I swear I have to go. All right, I'll, like he he it's is so funny, man. In I, the field, like, and he's self taught too, and came out of nowhere. But I just saw him on John Favreau's show. Like, the anytime you go to do barbecue, yeah, in Texas, you're going to Franklin's. That's like, really funny. He's really cool, really charismatic. His place is awesome, yeah. and he makes really he does it fucking good. Okay. Um, so anyways, like for him, he does all his ribs in one smoker, right? And then he'll do all of his, like the, he's never having pork, pork butt and ribs in the same smoker. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like for example, yeah, yeah, pour a hemp I lay. just pour a hemp lay. I just brought him up. But well, when I, when I see him, I'm going to let him know what you did and, um, tell him you're just not ready. You're not about that life. <laughs> now I'm pissed. I'm going to be pissed for the rest of the show. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be, because here's the thing. But like, you hang out with Milo. Now you're gonna see him. Like the dominoes gotta fall for this other guest, which I'm. I get a confirmation on Wednesday, so I'll let you know. It's the offer is on the table. I can tell you that. Okay, and he contacted or? Yes, a uh, friend of 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 his, um, who's a friend of ours. Okay. Contacted and it was just like, hey man, this guy would be awesome, and I was just like, oh great. Yeah. That sounds awesome. And I was like, he's like, you know who that is, right? And I was like, no. Uh, and he goes, but. And even when he said it, you didn't know, huh? Nope, I didn't. And he goes, uh, oh, but Lord. he is the messiah of barbecue or whatever. And I was like, great, that'll do really well. Yeah. Because um, it does. Like, oh, I, and the every messiah. Every dude eats, eats, uh, eats barbecue. Yeah. Uh, the messiah? What about the messiah? He is the messiah. Like, oh, I, he is. I think it's that he, I don't know what it is. Like I said, he doesn't have a. I don't think he has a chef background. So he comes at it, I think, from a different angle. Okay. And it's just so good. I don't know. He's like, he's honed in on the exact, like, chemistry of, right? Like, yeah, how yeah. to make the best meat somehow. Sure. And um, that's really funny. I'll call right after the show. And Aaron then, Franklin, right? Is yeah. Yeah. Said? I'll yeah. call right after the show then and try to get you down there. That'd be really funny, actually. Oh my gosh, I would love it. Yeah. I should be hosting a thing with him, right, <laughs> Alec? <laughs> Alec, will, look, if it if it, all this shakes out, Alec will be there as well. So, he'll be, yeah, he'll yeah. be shooting it. He'll be like, "Can we just do one segment with our food specialist, Jesse, not Ross?" <laughs> look, he didn't even all say he didn't even know who you were. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He didn't even know. He didn't even know, man. Well, because for me, Austin obviously is Stubbs. Stubbs, for me. right, and. And that, that was sure. my my mainstay when I was there for, um, you know, for when I lived there for four months. And that's great, it but it's great. They've they've lost their uh their fire. Their Stubbs has. Yeah, because you know they're just an institution. They're one of those things that tourists. They're in grocery get, stores now, exactly, man. and yeah. you will get the business, so you don't have to try. I mean, and same with. Franklin, but he is. I'm just with you. I look. I I I screamed Stubbs forever, right? 
Um, but, but back in the day when it was all local, yes, it was all local, and, then and all it was not famous. Whatsoever. White people ruin everything, and now it's like they're not trying as hard, right? Sort of, yeah. So there was uh, there was a time where Stubbs was my fave, and then as we've traveled with with Drinking Bros Sports all the time, I've been everywhere. I feel like as far as barbecue goes, like mm-hmm. that's just you know when your audience on another show is ninety four percent male, it's like hey, dude. Right. I got this barbecue place you should try. Right. And uh or a craft beer. Oh, for sure. So one of those two. And look, and they're all different. That's Ka- the thing. Kansas City was the one that lived up to the hype where I was okay. just like, all right. And that's the sweeter one, right? Cool, Not man. the vinegar. I don't love a vinegar based. No, which vinegar's is like vinegar's more or less uh North, North Carolina. Carolina, yeah. Um but yeah, uh, KC definitely lived up to the hype. Joe's was the name of it. Okay. In uh Kansas City. I lived up to the hype and uh holy shit. That was phenomenal. Um, there was another place in Dallas that I went to that I really enjoyed. Uh, man, I followed Brendan Schaub on Instagram. He was just there, and he was posting about it. And I was like, ah, shit. I was there. It was the best burnt ends I've ever had in my life. Oh, okay, and they're real burnt ends. Yeah. Yeah. And this was one of those things where we waited. Uh, I think Xander took you there. He did, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's from Dallas. So yeah. we waited in line, and it was like fucking know, nine o'clock at night and there was a line out the door and i was just like oh dude and Franklin, i go by the way we will never get in here you will stand in line there's people in line at like five in the morning well so so here, here was the deal with the dallas place um i'm alec do you have your computer back there on you you don't do you what do you fucking what? cock what do you need uh, i'm just gonna look up this dallas barbecue place you said joe's no joe's was in kansas city oh okay and is it like Dallas BB Quee? Is it like the best, or is it kind of unknown? As soon as it, it it pops up, like I'll oh, fucking know. Is um, it? But like, it's a well known place. Obviously, if there's a line around, right? It's a very well known place. Yes. Okay. That's, okay. Okay. Is, uh, Lockhart? No, Pecan Lounge. That's it. Pecan Lodge. That's it. Yeah, I think I saw you guys post. Pecan that. Lodge is the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was the best burn ends ever. But when we were in line, in this like 50, 60 person line out the door, I was like, dude, boff this. Let's, we can go somewhere else, right? There's barbecue mm-hmm. everywhere. And he mm-hmm. goes, no, the line moves fast because there is no tables. So you go up, you, you stand in this order line, and you order, through, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then eat. So when you get your food is when you sit down. So by the time you're sitting down and going through the line, I will say this, it moved fast, moved quickly. Um, and there is a, there was a general buzz in there about how great the barbecue was. So like everybody was talking about it and excited about it. Right. So I didn't mind the line. And, right. and their seating was great because it was like, hey, sit anywhere you want. If you have sit a table of people, 10. Yeah, yeah. You have a table of 10. Guy, there's tables of 10. There's other tables. Everybody was respectful. And uh, my God, it was really good. Mm. Uh, the Pecan Lodge. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. In my mind, I'm like, can I just fly into Austin? Probably. Sorry, I'm like trying to. Probably. I need to get there. Sorry. Here's the thing. We're you're going to be gone. We're for, flying from New York. Yeah, you guys um, are going to be all over, bouncing around, and the last Philadelphia, place. New yeah, York, yeah. and then Austin. So if this one guest comes through, then yeah, then the rest of that will fall. Um, but it would be worth it just to get that the the barbecue joint for your for. Absolutely, for my thing. <laughs> it's so Sorry, weird, man. Like, I'm not kidding. That was the so. You're shooting a so spinoff weird. show right now, yeah. and uh, we've been testing different people out with you. I was in the car because I knew you guys were shooting, mm-hmm. so I was trying to make all my phone calls, and that was I literally that was the last phone call I was on right before I got in here, and I was like, "How yeah, weird? That'll work." Because um, the other one we've been back and forth with is, uh, which would be super interesting, is Lance Armstrong. So he's in Austin, trying to round up as many Austin folks as you can. You laugh, but a lot of people are moving la- to Austin and. Uh, they are living there now. Oh no, I know that. I laugh at. I don't laugh at Lance Armstrong. I just have my feelings. That's fine. That, look, we everybody's got their feelings about Lance Armstrong, but it'd be be a fascinating interview for for me personally. Oh, for sure. And he's he's an Austin guy. He's been there for a really long time. Forever. Yeah. Him so. and McConaughey with mm-hmm. the, the and I would say Richard Linklater, the the Austin yeah. champions. Where it's like, all right, cool. And then an old friend of mine, who look, I haven't seen him in fifteen years at this point, so. I use the, the the term friend with air quotes, but sure. uh, he's on Supernatural. I heard he just fucking moved there and opened up a bar. Um, 
Look, dude. And they don't live in, in Los Angeles anymore. I get it. And that's happening more and more with mm. people where it's just like, oh, I'm over all of this shit. So I'm getting out of there. So I have a bunch of friends who are just like, all right, cool. Like Clean lives in Alabama yeah. and, uh, and all that stuff. And it'd be great. And South by Southwest, I think people really see when you know people from hollywood go there they're like oh shit and there's studios there and people shoot there so it is it has pretty much everything you need for like a good thriving city right good yeah food studios Traffic people shoot there exactly become brutal. but then there's other things that kind of suck right and i'm sure the people that are from there and live there and love it are pissed it's one oh, of those yeah, where yeah, it's yeah, like for sure. austin is not so weird anymore yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Austin housing prices are going way too much. Look, it's going to happen in Wilmington. Yeah. It's happening in Charleston. All the cool cities eventually get ruined by by white people. So it's we'll true. <laughs> like, for example, this banana, right? Yeah. Well, so we talked about this on the last show. This is just a little uh, update. Banana duct tape to the wall. Banana duct tape to the wall sold for 120000 Art Basel. Real banana. Real fucking bullshit. Yep. Right? Just a real pile of bullshit. Yeah. Art is dumb yeah it this is. is another segment called art is dumb mm-hmm. don't go to art stuff um so anyways somebody ate it yep a performance artist a performance artist but ripped it off the wall and ate it here's the caveat though so yeah. when you buy it mm-hmm. whoever bought this it comes with you can actually change the bananas and it comes with instructions yep. on how to change them yeah and a certificate of authenticity right mm-hmm. So basically, he ate the banana, but oh well, you just replace it. Correct. And what they're saying is that they own whoever the person is that bought this right. dumb piece of shit. Stupid ass owns shit. Owns the idea of uh-huh. the artwork. Uh-huh. So therefore, yeah. Yeah. So this is just the, another. The, but, the, but the art gallery was pissed. I will say that. So they, gra- they, ra- they grabbed this guy, mm. pulled him aside and said, hey, bro. We're going to need your info because they had to check on what the legalities of something like this were. And I also find it funny that all the things about this piece came out after this. So they never said when it was first sold, they didn't say that you could change the banana and that you can do whatever you want with it. And it comes with instructions on how to only after this guy fucking ate it. Well, they do if you're there. So when you're there, they do have a list of instructions and all that other shit. On the shit. thing, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it didn't come out though until this guy ate it. So it kind of feels like, oh, okay. Did yeah. you cover your ass? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I know, don't know. The whole thing seemed like a stunt to me, a PR stunt. Right. So it is what it is. Uh, art again. If you're trying to make art cool, it's not the way to do it. You're art, gonna have to do something else. Art's, you are. Art's just dumb. I it's know. dumb. So you're going to have to do something crazy like Lizzo did. And especially um, last art night. places. Oh, Lord. Come on. Here we go. Come on, James. Here we go. Come on, James. She cut the back of her dress, a hole in the back of her dress, which is a very sizable hole, by the way. Yeah, it's a big hole. Um, actually, look, no, no disrespect. It, di- it didn't look like a, yeah, obviously, no disrespect. You know? Obviously, no disrespect. She's we a would bigger never woman. Disrespect. Yeah, she's a bigger woman. Voluptuous. Uh, requires a bigger hole. Sure, it's just um, science. Like it's not really like we're you, nope. you know we're just it's just and it, it, from an engineering standpoint. And the engineering standpoint is this: she wanted to show her ass sure in a thong mm-hmm. um, to everyone yep. um, at the Lakers game, which it, again and the the whole it wasn't it was pre done, so it wasn't like she cut it herself and it was some jaggedy. Oh no! It's raggedy a thing. little hole. Yeah, I think it's a thing. Yeah. It's not a thing. Um, that is, she definitely had that uh, custom. Custom, custom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of shocked faces last night at the Lakers game. Mm-hmm. A basketball game is typically a family environment, and look, I mean, yes she and no, was. But yeah. She had her entire ass drinking out of dancing. this dress. Yeah, I mean, going Yelling. for it. Uh, turns out she's in love with this dude who played on the opposite team, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And was okay. just like, come get it. I'm coming for you. And How did he feel about it? Not sure. Responsive or um, no? Kobe and his family didn't look that amped. They shuffled off, I think. Uh, I saw them <laughs> shuffling off. Although, Kobe, <laughs> calm down a little bit, buddy. 
There was a few Calm down rappers. If you're, mm, if you're talking about having to explain stuff to your kids. He did it behind closed doors, you know. Oh, and it became very public. So wow. we're not gonna we're not gonna shame Lizzo, Kobe, <laughs> just because you're all fucking classy now or whatever. We don't forget Oscar winner Kobe Bryant. Um, sure. So Kobe, you can shuffle off with your kids. Chris Rock was appalled. He was just like, yo, looked, what uh, is going on? For sure. I can only imagine that's probably going into his next stand up bit where Has it's just to. like, dude. Well, I know, but what can you say? You're in public. You can you say know. whatever you want. I'll say whatever the fuck Don't I want. Don't have your ass out in public, but it's like... Man or woman. Sure. Size, gender, race. I don't care who Regardless, you are. yeah. I don't believe that a basketball arena is the place where... And if you weren't famous as Lizlo, they would kick you the fuck out of there. Sure. Um, For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had her, her entire ass hanging out of the back of that thing. Right, right. So... Whatever race or gender or size you are, Mm -hmm. not appropriate for an NBA game. Uh, And I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ross, there's cheerleaders on the floor. What are they wearing? They button them up, man. Um, They're in hose. The skirts are Dark hose. They're not like. uh, Pantyhose. Sorry. You know what I'm saying. But but dark pantyhose where it's just it's just like, come on, man. Come on. Pantyhose. Pantyhose, man. Pantyhose. You can you can barely see them Nothing anymore. Nothing sexier than a dark pantyhose. No, right? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's terrible, isn't it? It is, and especially when they have like an open toe shoe. Yep. But the pantyhose is like still pantyhose not fooling anybody. Yeah, yeah. Do you? Is it pantyhose? Is that the? I guess there's plural and and singular. No. Sure. Is that is that the? Are you pluralizing? Pantyhose would be if you have a couple, and then if you're wearing a. A pantyhoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not right, huh? That's singular. Yeah, right? now that I'm saying it, yeah. I think it's always plural. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> it's not like cactus and cacti. Pantyhoe. A pantyhoe. So the pantyhoe comes down the leg. Yeah, yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Nope, not at all. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's been in the works for quite some time now where it's just like we're not exploiting them. Yeah. Because now there's dudes now. You know that, right? That what? NFL games and shit like that. Dude cheerleaders. Yeah. You got to have a dude. You got to have somebody to lift up the girls, right? No need. Oh, come on. We should should abolish that. Oh, stop. Um, And uh, get rid of that altogether, too. You better be careful. You never know what your kid's going to want to be. What do you mean? You know, let's not just knock everything. If you're a straight dude cheerleader, I'm all for it. Like, hey, man, because I'd pull him aside and be like, hey, man. Why are you doing this? And yeah, if he said they put their hands up fucking to fuck girls, yeah. I'd be like, all right, I understand. Absolutely, it. I understand. I signed up for an all female course class in high school, and everybody was like, "Yo, for sure." I got made fun of for about mm, twenty minutes, and then it was like, and then I go, oh. "I tell you what, I tell you what, guys, come on pop, down, just pop on down to where, where, where Daddy's at." <laughs> there was sixty girls in there, and why don't you pop on down dudes. to where Daddy's at? Yeah, pop on down to where daddy's at. Mm. 60 girls and three dudes. And I got to leave once every two weeks to go on these traveling performances with them. I mean, come on. Dream. 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 Dream come true. do come true. They do. Uh, Same way. By the way. you make it happen, though. Same way with drama class. Yeah, for sure. Where I got... the reason I got because I was already doing stand up at that that point. Same same wood shop for me. But go ahead. Oh yeah, did you go to? Well, yeah, for dudes. I was like the, the one only chicken mm-hmm. wood shop. Yeah, smart, smart. Um, but yeah, with uh, drama, I I ran for class president. Um, I did not give them the the speech that I was. You have to clear a speech with them. And uh, I had written down something that was completely false, so I could sure. essentially just do a fifteen minute. Stand up routine, sure. Which was I was already doing stand up at that point. Sure. I did an impression of my principal. It was dead on, and mm-hmm. I did like I don't know, twelve impressions I think in this thing. Mm-hmm. Did an impression of her. They threatened to suspend me for like two weeks afterwards, and they threw me out of the election. Uh, one band landslide, obviously. And uh-huh. uh, she said, "Look, I'll put you in a drama, um, or you can have this suspension." And so when I got in a drama, it was the same way. It was just like. Hello. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. I had a gay teacher, mm-hmm. twenty hot ass girls in there, and I was just like, "Yo, yeah, this is amazing." Here we go. So, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if he comes to me and says he wants to be a male cheerleader, now do I personally want to see male cheerleaders? Don't. 
Just don't need that in my life. I just think they're necessary for the for the you know they're the a flippies? cog. They're a cog in the wheel. Nah, they're of not life. necessary. Cog in the wheel of life of makes it go round and round. My thing is this: you're just saying to girls then that you're weak, you're weaker girls, and you can't lift up other girls. What? No, girls can't lift up girls. I know. Oh, but that's they should be able to. Like, no. we're there as a society, right? No. Yeah. Right. No. That's my whole platform. Go back to high school. Stop trying to do everything that guys do. Go back to high school. Let guys fucking lift you up. Uh, Yeah, I understand that. But you go back to high school, they always used to put a couple bigger girls on the female cheerleading team. Sure, the base. The base, yeah. Sturdy bases. Gotta have the bases in there. Know a little bit about it. Gotta hop up on thighs, you know, hop, 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 Mm. hop on up, get it up, (laughs) hop on up there. So you need those. Mm -hmm. You need those. But uh, Lizzo, let's, let's never, ever do that again. You know, what are you going to cut out the front next? She doesn't really listen to too many people and kind of uh, does whatever the fuck she wants. It's amazing when you're rich, isn't it? Isn't it? It's really, really fucking amazing. You can do anything you want and no one will stop you. No one will stop you. I mean, you'll get it. You'll get frowned. Things will be frowned upon, I guess. I saw that footage before she went into the arena. And so I know exactly where she's at in Staples Center because I used to fucking work there. Um there is an underground where they kind of usher celebrities to. So, like, that way you don't have to park. You don't have to go in with Gen, gen Pop outside. You don't right. have to stand in line to get into the game. There is a tunnel that drives you underground, under the Staples Center. And then, boom, they you open up the limo door and you can walk right in through the Oof. underground of Staples Center. And is then, that what she did? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then go right into your, your courtside seats. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Um, I ushered somebody out of there one time. Had a little too much uh, <laughs> in the. <laughs> that's yeah. how I got in and out of there. Bam, boom. Yeah. In the ding dong. Uh, an Austin legend. Shove, sh- people shuffled are him tr- out of there. People are trying to. Uh, they're starting the. Starting to go against Lizzo. Starting to cancel. I don't. I don't think so. Um. They're. There's all these plagiarism things that are coming out, uh, and they keep coming out. This is another thing. I mean, I don't know. The problem was they're starting I, to. She I got looked, super hot. I, here's the thing. I, so I look. I looked at the first play, the plagiarism thing. Is mm-hmm. I guess that was a meme. I'm 100 percent that bitch. Yeah. And don't care. Like just I, took a DNA test. R- yeah. Right, but it's a uh, to me. A meme is a meme, and if you're rapping or whatever, and I think you're going to use things in popular culture. Yeah. I, I oh, don't. So that was the thing. Okay. Well, they did it with a couple other songs too, but okay. I think they're. It's not that she did it. It's the fact that so many people are trying to get her on stuff, right? So she's gotten to a level when she was getting to that point, which sure. I always say, like they were just like, "Yeah, Lizzo's the best. She's yeah. the greatest." Or she's like, "I'll join any church she starts," mm-hmm. and then you get big enough. And blow up quick enough that now people start to go against you, right? That's Which happens it fast. Goes. It happened to Post Malone really fast. Yeah, Look, and the, the best way to stop it is just hits, man. Just uh, hits and like just staying away from comments about it or, or addressing it in any way yeah. and just keep on doing what you do, right? I asked him and I was just like, yo, what do you do? And he goes, I don't even go on the fucking internet, man. No, I wouldn't. I got a team that does tweets in mm-hmm. Instagram and it's very informational yeah, yeah, yeah. about shows and everything. Yeah. He's got a traveling photographer and he goes, other than that, man, um, after the plane crash thing, he said it was just too much. Yeah. Or it was just like, yo, man, people want you to die and all that other stuff. Um, that's, it gets crazy. It gets crazy, but they, you, when you get to that level, as I've said before, like you, before, when you're on your way up, mm-hmm. people think of you as a person right, right, struggling right. and just trying to do, man, we're all in this together. And then once you get to that point, they don't even see you as a person it's anymore. Gone. So they say whatever they want. I mean, crazy shit. Yeah. They just don't think of you that way anymore. And you're invincible and they're weirdly jealous of you. And, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. Not that I know. <laughs> but I think I'd be able to handle it, guys, in case you're worried. Uh, you know how you'd handle it. It's on a ghost bed from ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Sleep with confidence. 
They have Sorry, their holidays. Sorry, I was holidays. trying to test out a new, uh, yeah. new thing that didn't work yeah, out. I They're... wouldn't do it. Just stay tried and true. God you damn know? it. Sleep Just with confidence. That was the... terrible. Stick to the hits. Yeah. Brother. Sorry. Don't uh, radio head me on this fucking. Or ghost bed. Sorry, ghost bed. Don't give me a radio head ghost bed ad. I won't. Least. I won't. I'm going to anyway, give you the best. They're, they get a holiday sale. That's a banger. A banger. 50% off the uh, adjustable base, which is insane. I know. It's a lot. Well, it's the biggest. It's, it's the biggest ticket item that they have. Mm-hmm. So to do fifty percent off, it's like, just get it now. There's going to be no other time that. It, yeah. That you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's going to be monstrous. So that ends on uh, midnight on Christmas. That's how big this sale is. That it ends on midnight, where they're like, "Hey you guys, on Christmas still, Day." Like, yeah. Yeah. So what they're doing is is hey man, if you wake up on Christmas and didn't get that ghost bed with the adjustable base. Pop on over, and then they'll take care of you, regardless of who your shitty spouse is. Right. Drop you know? all the hints that you want. Yep. You still may not get it. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately. You're going to have to do it for yourself. Uh, look, if you're if you're military or a first responder, you get 15% off everything forever, so it doesn't really matter. You're good to go. Always at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And they're, look, their, their pay-as-you-go program is still going on. No interest. Nobody's doing that. 36 months, it's like 38 bucks a bed, dude. You're good to go in this life. Yes. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get wet. Yeah. And if you go to the website, spin that little wheel, you never know. You could get free shipping. Yes. You can get $200 off a of match. They get it's right. They get the wheel of fortune fun. now. Yeah. Look at, look it's at that. It's fun. Look at that. Uh, next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shablanker. Strike Force Energy. I just put some in my, my drink right now. I actually. saw that. Um, that was very sly. I probably mm. should have waited till the sponsor read, but no, I just couldn't help it. myself. You needed it. I just it. couldn't help myself, James. I couldn't fucking help myself. I needed some Strike Force. Couldn't fucking help myself. I needed some Strike Force. All I needed was some fucking Strike Force. Come on, let me squirt it all over your body. Let's get sticky tonight. Five hours plus. No? Are you just, just rubbing your eyes over there? I'm just waiting for you to be Okay. done. Yeah. All right. You know? Wipe it off with your panties. Wiping what off? We're fucking done. The strike force. Mm. Uh, works as a natural lubricant. Um, that is not true probably, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Probably not. It might work for one second. Uh, right? And then when it starts. If you put a little on your ding dong for getting, bees, though, would the other person oh, be energized? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Would the other person Ooh. be energized? Yeah. All right. Good. There you go. Good. You uh, get it sticky on your ball hair, but hey, sticky on your bee price hair. You pay. Price you have to pay sometimes, you know? For yeah. the beach. Yeah, for... For a strike force beach. For a strike force beach, you know? Yep. And they actually told us to say that, so... Probably. They sent us the copy. Yeah. We don't, Nothing I can do look, about it. We don't do... <laughs> we don't go off the cuff with that one. Sorry. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com today. Promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Um, they're doing it right. They're doing it tight on... Here it is. On the, go to YouTube, by the way. Subscribe on YouTube. We're combined with Drinking Bros Podcast now for the media company. There'll be a new show next year. This is it. Bango. This little tiny tin pouch. That's it. Mm-hmm. Just rip it open, squeeze it into any liquid available. You're good to go. Strikeforceenergy.com. Revolution 20% off. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Mm. Smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alec, Alex in the in the yeah, yeah. I know. he had to like throw the headphones across the room. Alec, you're back in the John Wilkes booth over there, and that's still one. That's still got you, huh? Oh yeah. Oof. Look. Ah. Sorry about Yeesh. it. I just give the people what they want. You know, it's give not that I want. need to do it. Give them what they need. Anyways, holiday season. Come on. Come on, dude. This is the time. This is the time. Get yourself a kit. Get a, a kit for uh, your father. Your husband, your lover, your brother, your uncle, your abuelos. Your, your that means grandparents in Spanish. Mm-hmm, 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 and then, mm-hmm. obviously, 
If you're Ukrainian dwarf living in this life and you gotta hide your pubic hair from the people who adopted you, um, shave it off. Hide your periods. Uh, best in the biz at that. Uh, straight razors are, uh, well, Jabes? Yes. They're the best razors. Best razors do everything with shave, kill yourself, you name it. Uh, go to straightrazors.com today. Get a kit. Just buy or buy a bottle, bottle of that uh, Smolder Aftershave. Um, I love it. I love it. I use it every single day. I use straightrazors.com every single day of my life. You do. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. It's a big savings there. It's going to be a big, big Christmas, and they're going to engrave your strut razors for you. Your what? Your strut razors for oh, you. straight razors, okay. If you're Swedish, that's how you would say it. Mm-hmm. Oh, th- are those just strut razors? <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Hello. Are these just strut razors? Maybe German or Dutch? Mm, something. Hello. Oh, do you have any strut razors? I'm trying to go skiing, Lotta. Lotta? Yeah, no? I like it. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah. I like me. Mm. Uh, Jabes, today was the big day. You Golden Globes. Like Globless me. got announced. Yes. Um, who was snubbed? Oh, boy. Do we I'm have gonna, any snubs? I'm going to read who wasn't snubbed. Who was snubbed? <laughs> we predicted this a long time Robert ago. Robert Downey Jr. Probably. Um, no. Oh, my gosh. Not him. No. He wasn't what, in Iron anything. <laughs> he wasn't in, he was the, snubbed again. <laughs> for the 800th Iron Man? What? No. Robert De Niro, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I like how we're laughing at Robert Downey Jr. when it's like, truthfully, if oh, he no, wasn't no, no. doing Iron Man, oh, he'd be nominated yeah, every yeah, yeah. single Absolutely. year. For he's, the, he's better than everyone that's nominated, but anyway. Probably. I wonder if any more. I wonder if you lose it after Ooh. doing that shit. You could lose it, I think. You know? You become like a caricature of himself, which he sort of is, right? If you see him in interviews or... Yeah. He's just... I li- Look, I'm, I, I love his whole shit. It's just oh, him, too, but... He's just very specific, and he's worth a gajillion dollars. Um, You've got to be out of touch at a certain point, money-wise, right? Like, it's got to... You you lose that whatever he had. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Uh, no, this, the, the one we called forever ago, and we were not excited about her, her performance, or the show, really, this year was Big Little Lies. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Of course. So... Um, I wanted to look it up because I was like, I we joke about this so much on the show, how she gets nominated every year, no every matter year. what, because you have to apparently. Mm-hmm. It's it's in the. You ready for this? This number is really big and it's really surprising. I won't be surprised, but go ahead and tell me. How many times? Are, uh, all right, so let's 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 ask you this: How many times do you think she's been nominated for a Golden Globe? I would say like twenty. That's what I would have said. Oh, okay. I would have said that too, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. that seems like a lot. Where you're seems like, seems oh, like a lot. Yeah. Did you think of like all the different? That's twenty years. A hundred percent. And I, I, I'm right with you. I was right in that boat where I was just like, huh. Wonder how, when I saw her name scroll across this morning, I was just like, I wonder how many times she's been nominated. And then I looked it up. Thirty-four. Okay. That is double what I thought. Well, but okay. So I guess I just got it wrong as far as how many years she's been doing it. So like, she's been. Hardcore in the game for over 30 years, yeah. So if 40. You go, she, yeah. So it says that her first nomination was fucking Deer Hunter. And that was Holy like shit. 77 maybe? Look, and I'll alive, give it but. to her. I think she used to be the best. And now she's just weird as shit and always has to have like a teeth in, a weird glasses. <laughs> a, like, a teeth in. Do you know what I mean? Or just like a... I don't know, a weird accent. She just needs to try all these different things. There's this new thing on Netflix, new movie called The Laundromat. Yeah. And she's just like acting so fucking weird. Like back in the day, she was her. She was a real. normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was really good and real. And she, you, you just believed everything she said. Sure. And that's why there is the, you know, whatever. The oh, yeah, Church yeah, yeah, of yeah. Merrill, right? Yeah. That's why that started. But now. So it says here her first, yeah, nomination was uh, 79 for the Deer Hunter. Okay. Okay. And then it's like um, postcards from the edge. And and then went on to win her first Golden Globe the following year for Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, God, that's right. See, but like. Uh, Sophie's man, Choice. She was good. She was really, really good. And French I French Lieutenant's say Woman was. in 82. Sophie's Choice in 83. 
Um, and then after a 20 year break, she landed six consecutive nominations for uh, One True Thing, The Bridges of Madison County. She was great in that. Marvin's Room, she was great in that. Great. The River Wild, she was great in that. Great. Um, yeah, man. I just. Just not anymore. I think after Julia and Julia or whatever, where she played Julia Child. Yeah. And then the Iron Maiden. Iron Lady. Iron Lady. <laughs> I was like, yo, did Wait. she do an Iron Maiden Dude, biopic? That'd be the only way for her to get back in the game for me. <laughs> but anyway, she just sort of lost it in my mind. I don't know. Yeah, I Obviously don't know. Obviously not in the eyes of the Academy or anyone that talks about her. The one they thought her, her performance in Big Little Lies was, oh, amazing. Yeah. And I fucking thought it was trash. Oh, it's amazing. Because this is foreign press, so sure. obviously that's how they would talk that's to her. That's how they would talk oh, to Oh, you're amazing in that. You're mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the biggest snubs they're saying mm-hmm. were Game of Thrones. Right, but Which nobody liked this no last one liked season, the so ending. No. Well, the fans are goes. pissed online of like, yeah. oh, it was their last season. You should give them something. No, if, if nobody liked the season, who fucking cares? See ya. And uh, cats. What about cats, though? It was snubbed. Allegedly, I didn't see any screeners out. Um, so, so I, I had heard an interview this morning right before I left that said, "Hey, they sat down with all of the members. They screened it personally for them." Um, and they gave it one nomination. So the nomination was for best original song and it's Taylor Swift. Will you do something with me and we'll see if the people want it? Oh, I'm fucking way down for this. So I want to, I would love to get other people, maybe (laughs) Tiffany and Dan. I want us to all be on different drugs, right? Yep. So like somebody's really drunk. Someone maybe takes some mushrooms, Dan, um, someone smokes some weed. Yeah. And then someone's sober, maybe Alec. But anyway, we all I want us all to watch sit down, yeah, and watch cats. Cats. Yeah. Twitch style so you can see it. Although you don't I don't think we can do that. But anyways, I wanna j- I wanna just all sit down and watch it and see what happens. Live reaction. A- Alec, what's the rule on that? Do you know? I don't think you can show the actual movie. You can't right? show the actual movie, right? Just the reactions. Snippets, okay. Snippets, okay. okay. You can show snippets. So, like, the most horrifying parts will maybe show, right? Okay. Like, why do they have boobs, right? And we're just, like, freaking out? Yeah. I'm down that? for I am way down for that. So, we just need we, to pick which uh, vice we want to, which thing and we, we want to do. So, here's the thing. And we get screeners uh, because of my yeah, brilliance. I, we'll I get, get screeners mm-hmm. every single year. So, we'll get cats. Did you say because of my brilliance? Because of my brilliance, obviously. Um, um, you're just in the... Yeah. Well, my lifelong, sag, but my, yeah. li- my lifelong yeah, uh, commitment to the film. We ever, actually, every friend that we have is in SAG. It's on 30 movies. So, I don't want to, I don't want to go on and on about myself, but I will get all the screeners um, uh-huh. every year. Yeah. And uh, a bunch we'll of put, my friends on Instagram got them all too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, it's, it's. And they just like post it. I'm the one who's gonna get it for this group, um, and then obviously. You know, oh, okay. What's yeah. coming from me, not your friends. Um, so I'll, we'll pop that in. And then do a live reaction show with it on drugs of cats. Different drugs. Cats on drugs reaction video. We'll find Alec, out, what do you think? We'll find out which is the best drug. Well, no, I think we should all be on different drugs. That's what ah. I mean. We'll find out which one is the best. So if anyone like, what? Someone sent me syrup. Should I save it for that? Obviously. All right. I'll Done. be the syrup person. Done. Well, no. Well, no. You. I'll choose that one. Nope. To dibs. So I'm going to be the syrup <laughs> person and then you can drink or whatever you want to do. I, you know weed. what I'd like to see you on is is the weed. The uh, that stick. No, bro. Yeah. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> you see that every night in private, but I would never want I just get too weird, dude. Don't you think? And tired. But that's cats. That's and cats. Tired. I don't want to fall asleep like I want to experience it. However, they wanted me to, which is not sober, I don't think. Like, when I look at the trailer, I go, they do not want me to be sober, right? <laughs> like, so I want to give them, you know, I want to have the experience that they want me to have, which is some kind sure. of hallucinogen, super high, yep. really drunk, yep. th- those kind of things. All right. Uh, I'm down. We'll, we'll get that. Um, the one person, the one that I called, though, 
you and I both called was a, a no-brainer to me. And I said he would win the Oscar. So you can go ahead and end that guessing game, too, was Joaquin Phoenix yeah. for I think the so. Joker. Um, the cool thing about this, though, which is different, was Todd Phillips got nominated yes. as director. And it yes. got nominated as Best Picture. So yes. that was great. I think... Uh, I think he'll win Best Actor. Okay. Uh, best Director will probably go to Scorsese. And then uh, The Irishman was nominated, and that will probably win Best Picture. And I think, you know, I, the, for the most part, they probably got it right. The weird thing is is there wasn't a lot of choices. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one. Two is guess who led the nominations? Guess which studio led uh, all the nominations? Netflix. Yes, including movies. Spielberg. Time is here. Oh so man. Time is here. Pil- Spielberg will pen uh, uh, an an, op- an op-ed or an, a, an, yeah, an op-ed, something op-ed piece or some kind of angry letter. I don't know what he's going to do, but I doubt it because um, he's he's working with Apple for TV shows. So oh, and they nominated that stupid fucking yes. Well, they wanted Jennifer Aniston there. Yeah. Let's face it. Like the whole the, the the Hollywood the Golden Globes is this. Here's Just the dirty bullshit, secret. Bro. It they can be bought. Yes, and so. that was absolutely, you could tell. Like, that nomination was like, well, Apple really lobbied for this, and we're giving it to them, right? They won't win, yeah. but we'll get her there, right? But it's, uh, it's enough money, I think. Well, they'll probably give it to Jay Anus just because uh, they want her on stage. In that category, I'm not sure Maybe, but people y- will be okay with that, I'm, but they'll at least get her there. Here's why I'm amped about it, is Ricky Gervais is hosting. Love. Love, love. Cats will love. be out by that point. Oh, he will he have please? seen it. Oh, he's going to come out <laughs> in full regale. Don't you think? He'll come out in a cat's costume at some point. Mark my words. There is one movie on here that I actually don't know, and I'm surprised that I don't know it. Maybe you do. Talk to me. Parasite? Marriage Story. Oh, Marriage Story, yes. Have you seen it? I have not seen it. Is it on? And here's why. Is it on yet? Yes. Yeah, so oh, it's save on. it. I will watch yeah, it Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is Netflix, and I didn't watch it, A, because... Obviously, I wanted to save it for you. <laughs> of course. That's obviously what it was. And then secondly, though, um, do you remember Blue Valentine? Yes. So Blue Valentine, so good. Amazing, I thought. But it didn't, it made me feel so bad, right? Like it was, it was really hard. It's really hard to watch a relationship disintegrate in front of you. Was Blue, Blue Valentine was Gosling and... Gosling uh, and... Um, uh, Michelle Williams, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, that was a great fucking movie. Really good, right? One of those Would movies you, you only ev- watch one time and then you. you never watch it again. And you have to really, I wasn't really prepared for that movie. Like I was like, oh, cool. Like, so I know in Marriage Story what I'm getting into. I don't. And so, so I don't have, tell me. I'm not. I mean, you, if you see the trailer at all. I saw the trailer today. Okay, So, you so, know. Uh, I, I do and I don't. You like, do and you don't. But you're, it's. They're it only looks- showing happy ass clips today during the fucking mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Well. Watch the trailer. <laughs> and uh, so I just needed to, I was not, I have not been prepared for it, to be honest with you. Like, it's so, it's such a hard subject. It's worse than any, you know, horror film, like, uh, to me. I, to, wow, to I, watch don't, a, I don't know what I'm getting into, so don't spoil To watch a this. relationship go through that kind of stuff. I mean, well, it's, it's, it's got to be hard. But he was nominated, right? Which I kind of love. Uh, I Driver. like him. I know you don't like him, but I really do. No, I, I think he's. I think a, he's awesome. I think he's a great, great yeah. actor. Um, I like him. And Adam he's Driver. a veteran and does yeah. a lot uh, of look, stuff. Look, I, I, I like, I like him. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, uh, she's great. Um, that haircut. Not no fuss haircut isn't, but uh, she's good. Um, and uh, they needed to like make her look like a mom, which is so funny. So the they, like, other gave one for that haircut. The other one that they were bitching about was they were like, oh, all the directors are men. Okay. Um, who got nominated and uh, Greta Gerwig didn't get nominated for Little Women. As it a, got as nominated a, though. It did, but she didn't get nominated as a director. Here's the thing, man. You're fucking shooting the same movie that's been done 80 times. like You guys, and shot for shot. Yeah. I mean, the co- everything, the coloring, it looks like they use the same locations. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's shot for shot, the uh, Winona Ryder, Su- Susan Sarandon one. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So I, I, I get that. I get that she wouldn't be, direct, you know, nominated, right? Yes. Can we be okay with that just not happening? Yeah. So Jesus, I, you know, somebody stood up and was just like, "This isn't our Golden Globes." It's like, you know, what? it's not. It's theirs, and it's always theirs. 
So yeah. direct a fucking movie that is is worthy sure. of it if you're a woman, and then you'll get in there. Sure, it's pretty or goddamn just, easy. Just anyone, anyone that wants to. Yeah, make and direct a movie. Go direct the Irishman. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, right. do go do that. That's like that's fine. The um, opportunities are limited, but you know, Greta Greta Gerwig was in there. You know, actually, was Booksmart in this? Yes. Year? So Booksmart was in this year. Well, here's the thing. Um, the lead actress got nominated, so we've I not seen the film. The, I know, seen, no, haven't I haven't. It, so. But everyone just—I mean, I don't know. Directing, we'll see. But yeah, I guess the, we'll the see, movies that did I get nominated are pretty. That's true, huh? Big and you know. Okay. Um. So we'll see. And look, this isn't the Oscars. I, I think that's that's important to remember. It's true. This is not the Oscars. Where the Oscars. I can promise you we'll go through this list, hear all this bullshit that's going on, push in a female director, um, push in people of color and all this other bullshit, and you'll get exactly what you want out of the Mm -hmm. Oscars. Now, these other fuckers that are foreign, they don't care, man. They just want the best show. Who's going to bring in the most ratings? It's not Greta Greta Gerwig. It's going to be Jay Anus, you know? Yeah. Sorry. Um, Sorry about it. But Scorsese, all of those guys are going to bring in. Did her... Boyfriend get nominated for director or just Adam Driver for? Uh, so Bombach did. Uh, great question. Marriage story. Yes, he did. I don't think he did. Good. Uh, I don't. Think are they he fucking did. boyfriend and girlfriend mm-hmm. in real life? Really? Can you imagine those fucking talks Oof. at night? <laughs> Greta Gerwig and, and, and him. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Just the weird artsy bullshit that they get into. And now, one of, and another one that I called was uh, my my name is Dolomites. Oh, that's right. I'm happy about that. I love that film. Mm-hmm. I thought Eddie Murphy was lights out in that, and uh, yeah. I was amped to see that none of the film got nominated. He got nominated, and it's it's great. That was one of my favorites this year. Uh, I love that movie. Tarantino's is in there. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I, you again, got to. You I got to. Got body of work. It's body of work. I guess. Look. I'm he has to, to go be back in every year. I don't same. care what he I, makes. I, he has to. I, maybe I, I wasn't on enough drugs. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch this. But, I think um, you'll like it the second time, but shit. Like I said before, I know, you man. shouldn't have to watch a movie two times, especially one that is nominated, right? Yeah. Um, but the weird thing is, was this was the first time I saw 2020 on something. Where you're like, oh, Golden Globe nominations 2020. Where you're like, oh shit, we're finally right here now. in 2020. Mm. Like that sounds crazy. It does. Sounds it like sounds we're in the future. Too far into the future. Where oh, you're yeah, like, oh, there. whoa. Remember we when be it was always like, cars. oh, by 2020. Oh, they're gonna do this by 2020. They're gonna have this in place by 2020. And you just think, oh gosh, I'll never get to that. Yeah. Right. Now we're here, and uh, and it is. Um, your boy Paul Rudd got nominated for Living with Yourself too. Did you watch that? No. I thought you did. I, 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 I gave you the green light on that. I know, but I just, I, when you said I just, I don't like the twin thing, people playing twins. I hate it. It's my biggest, you know, it's one the of my The only one who did peeves. it good, Army Hammer. Oh, and uh, yes, the Winklevi. He was great. My God. That's the only person I thought it was two people. And he's a not that great of an actor to no, watch. Oh, God. Um, but you he got nominated really... too, Christina Applegate. Oh, I did? Dead to me. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I would have said the other one, Linda Cardellini, but hey, ah, who am I? I like Linda Cardellini. She's, she's bomb, awesome, dude. and she was way better than me in she's that show. Bam on it. She's just awesome. Um, Succession got nominated for a lot of stuff. Uh, Olivia Coleman from The Crown, your favorite show, and then again half the cast of Big Little Lies again, which I don't really know why. Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon, and Meryl Streep got nominated from that. It's Not Laura like, Dern. I would say Laura uh, Dern is the only person that should be nominated. Uh, maybe for... S- Dern well, Dog is the only girl from that movie that should be nominated. Sorry. I yeah. said it. And then your boy... We've talked about this numerous times on the show. Once you get hot in nominations for shit and you win shit, you just, you just kind of get nominated every year. Oh, yeah. You get pu- pushed through. Uh, Sam Rockwell, again. Look, nominated for... Couldn't happen to a fucking better dude. Uh, I don't know him, so I don't know him. I don't know him. I talked to him one time. <laughs> <laughs> and Chernobyl. Selfishly, yes. I wanted Chernobyl to get nominated. Sure no- so Chernobyl was snubbed? No, nominated. Oh, nominated. Okay. It's in. It's in so, uh, and whoever their makeup department is, I hope they got nominated. Please. I'm not going to scroll God. down all the way to that fucking category. No. But, uh, no. Uh, under, so 
you know, they have the movies here for musical or comedy, and then they do drama. Um, it's, it's always so weird to me where you're just like, I, there was nothing musical or hilarious about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That is the category that it's in. No. Jojo Rabbit. I've heard about this movie. I wanted to see it. I have not seen it um, to- yet, but I imagine that will be in the screeners. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. It looks really weird and cool. Knives Out, okay. Rocket Man, and then My Name is Dolomites. All right. Rocket uh, Man's in comedy, huh? What's up? Rocket Man's in comedy? It, well, musical and comedy, so it is a musical. Okay. So that fits. Once Upon a Time does not fit there. Uh, best motion picture drama, The Irishman. Marriage Story, 1917, that just came out with Sam Mendes. Uh, Joker, and then The Two Popes. I don't know what The Two Popes is. Me neither. I want to see 1917, though. You'll get poped up. What? You love a good Pope Pope movie, Pope story. Pope, pope show? Yeah, you'll get poped up. You'll pope, <laughs> you'll pope, pope your pants. pope show. <laughs> you'll pope your pants over, yeah, uh, yeah. over a nice Look Pope. Super. Uh, Noah Baumbach. I got nominated for screenplay for Marriage Story. Oh, okay. So... Um, we got down to directors here. Hanks got nominated for best supporting. Mm-hmm. How are you best supporting in a movie about M- Mr. Rogers? Uh, it's a two hander, I think. Is it? Yeah, because it's uh, it's about a journalist actually mainly that went to interview him. Okay, and then like learns about himself through interview. Whatever. We all it's do. A, it's a two. It's a, it's uh, two An- Anthony Chompkins, um, your favorite, nominated for two popes, so he's in that. Chompkins, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to pope Top- up. <laughs> Yeah, you you called him Chompkins. Chompkins, yeah. No, I've I've uh, famously always called him Anthony Chompkins. Yeah, and, and Hulk Hogan. Hulk. Uh, yeah, H U L L. Hulk Hogan. Hogan, C O G A N. Mr. Hulk Hogan. So Chompkins, uh, Pacino. Ah! Pacino, he was uh, everything. Pesci, I, I, so good. Pesci was amazing too. Both so of good. Them, both of them were great. But Pesci was Pesci. I think Pacino, I will say, out of the three of them, was the only one that transformed into a little bit different than what he usually is. But go mm-hmm. ahead. And B Pit. Four. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Nope. Not a fucking chance. Are and you kidding me? And the little me? that he had, he no. was really funny. He was really good. Um, best actress in a supporting role in any motion picture, which is weird. I don't know why they're separated for this. Uh, Kathy Bates for the Richard Jewell movie. Annette Benning. Uh, for the oh. report. And then here's your girl, Laura Betty. Dern, for Marriage Story. Okay. So she's in that. Mm-hmm. And then Jennifer Lopez for Hustlers. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're welcome. Margot Robbie for Bombshell. So. Ooh, and not Charlize. I'm going to tell you this. In the trailer for that movie, mm-hmm. it is a bunch of actresses and Megyn Kelly. I mean, she looks exactly like her. It's insane. It's crazy. She doesn't look... Everyone else looks like who they are, right? Yeah. Nicole Kidman, you can tell. So it looks like Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie are literally acting with Megyn Kelly. Yeah. It's insane. Um, so then we go... We hop on down to Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical Comedy. Uh, you got Daniel Craig for Knives Out. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, Roman Griffin Davis for Jojo Rabbit. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. Uh, DiCaprio. Okay. For Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Please. Uh, the guy who played Taron Edgerton, who played uh, Rocket Man, and then Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Um, best actor in a motion picture drama, Bale. We love. We're Bale Oof. heads here, Christian Big Bale. Bale heads over here. Antonio Banderas. This one I did not even hear about. Nope, so. Pain and Glory. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Adam Driver, Joaquin Phoenix, Jonathan Price. I think you just go ahead and wrap that up for Joaquin Phoenix. Obvi, uh, obvi. Leave your things at the door and you're good. Charlize did get nominated. Okay. For best actress okay. in a drama, along with ScarJo, she must have killed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the woman who played Harriet Tubman in the Harriet movie. Mm-hmm. Have not seen that movie yet. Was What's it a runaway name? hit? Nope. Too soon. Okay. Blamo, blamo. Sorry, sorry about that Harriet Tubman joke, ladies and gents. Um, can't say runaway hit. Okay. Moving on, and then Zellweger for Judy. Oh, oh God. Oh. Nobody, nobody ever. Uh, best song for Cats, I think, right? Yeah. Taylor Swift. T Swift. Mm. It's about star power here in this mm-hmm. this type of shit. So mm-hmm. definitely, you know. Um, and then the, we'll go down the the best director since I already made a big big to do about it. 
Bong Joon Ho for Parasite. Which everybody said this is like the craziest oh, movie that of all time. Bong Joon Ho is uh, Okja. Yeah. The dude, like, that dude Okja is Okja was sick. fucking rad. Okja's still rad. Um, Sam Mendes, uh, Todd Phillips, Martin Scorsese, and Quentin Tarantino. What are you going to do? What are you going to do against that croup? For real. Croup? I know. Crew? What are you going to do but against that? Uh, I was going to say crew, crew and then, and then group up and group, yep. but I kind of like it. kind of yeah. like group. What um, are you going to do against those guys? That's the best of the, of the best. You got to bring your fucking A game to beat those guys. I love guys. that. That's awesome. So, and Oh, then, and we're saying there's no women there? No. But, but, <laughs> Not this year. Sorry, guys. What, what, ha, what are you going to do against sorry, these five? Sorry, gals. No, my God. What are you going to do against these five movies? It's just not our year. Because, like, you take Tarantino, right? The directing of that movie was sure. fantastic. Sure. Um, the screenplay was not good. So, <laughs> if you want to you wanna not give him yeah, one for that, then exactly. congratulations. He did. He, yeah. Uh, but Scorsese and The Irishman, dude, that was a three and a half hour masterpiece. Absolutely. What are you going to do? Todd From Phillips beginning and the to end, it was perfect. The Joker was fucking awesome, Absolutely. dude. Absolutely. Uh, Sam Mendes, the 1917. It was, that's the war movie. I haven't seen it, but I, like it looks insane. The trailer. Yeah, does. I do really want to see that one. And then Bong Joon Ho, you know, Bong Joon, dude. Okja. Yeah, Okja is one of the best, best ever. Um, so either way, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to watch it. It'd be f- man. I wonder if we should just live reaction the Golden Globes as as it's on. I mean, I would love to do something like that. We just need to figure it out. We would get fucking rocked for that. It's like three hours. <sighs> I'd get a gown, obviously. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're there. I'll be. <laughs> Maybe we will. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure O of the day. Uh We're going to get it out to Juice World. R.I.P. Juice World. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah. How weird so is that? So that Lucid Dreams song that it came out was massive over the summer, right? I thought it was a white guy. Like I've, I think it was because it was around Post Malone time, so we're kind of like. It was, but it was just he kind of had a twinge, like yeah, like a Blink One Eighty Two sure. in his voice or something like that, and it was one of those people that I. You ever just hear songs on the radio and keep shazamming them? It's the same person. Yeah, yeah. And then like, I looked oh, him up fuck. and I was yeah. like, oh fuck, that's a black guy. You're like I must really like them. Yes, and I was like, that must be a black guy. So I ended up listening to his whole shit and uh, over and over and over again. Um, and look, his album debuted at like number two this year. He signed a mega deal with a record label and uh, the dude was on his way. He just turned 21 and he died. He um, walked off a plane, right? Got off a private plane from L.A. to Chicago and had a seizure and just and died, died immediately. I mean, it was it was that quick. Um that guy was on his way to becoming a megastar. And then what did you say he, he had said something but he, he, So he, here's the thing. He had, he had kind of combined this emo. It's, it's not rap, but it's, it's both. It's kind of mm-hmm. combining rap and this emo kind of scent. Like him and uh, that little peep, mm-hmm. those guys were almost inventing their own, creating their own new genre. And it was super fascinating, but both of them died. Ironically, at the same age, yeah. um, there was a lyric in one of his songs that said, fuck the 27 Club, we're not going to make it past 21, mm. and they haven't. How crazy. I know. So he just turned 21 and then died. And so I was up when I caught this story and uh, kind of before it caught on to like the rest of celebrity culture and mainstream media, um, just I'm, I'm up late. And uh I was like, oh, man, I wonder what's going to shake out out of this. Like, no one just dies from a seizure at 21 unless it's, you know, Mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Um, This morning it said his friends had said he took a bunch of pills before they left. They don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. But the wildest shit is this that is breaking right now. Um, They he was bleeding out of his. His mouth and nose and something else when he was having the seizure. And so the Fed said, hey, man, we want to look through the rest of the plane. Like, you know, obviously you got to determine a cause of death and all that other shit. Um, Here's where shit gets wild. They found 70, 70 pounds of marijuana um, in bags, in suitcases. I don't know why you're traveling with 70 
pounds of marijuana anywhere. Um, Especially these days. Just buy it wherever you're going. Wherever you're going, one. Two, you're fucking juice world. You just signed a massive deal. You don't. What are you doing? What are you doing with 70 pounds of marijuana in here? I, I don't know what's going to happen with the rest of this story, but it does tell me, though. It does give me the answer to if you fly private, can you get away with anything? Question is yes, as long as you stay alive. Yeah, as long as you don't seize out <laughs> at the end of the stairs. Fuck, man. Shit, dude. Uh, and the, you know, and again, social media. You know, the sick part of me. I always go to social media to see what the last thing was. Oh yeah, what was it? Laughing with his buddies on a plane, having a good time. Dump some water in his buddy's face because he was sleeping. Uh, kind of making fun of the sleeping guy. It was just like a normal, happy. Yeah. I didn't see any drugs. I didn't see any liquor out. Nothing. They were just taking a private jet from LA to Chicago and that's it so uh, sad uh, dad around 1am on Sunday um, but uh, RIP this dude was super fucking interesting man uh, his music was who knows where it could have gone when you're that young you don't know yeah. and I think you know little peep documentaries either out well, it was out in theaters now but not here obviously because we live in a small town mm-hmm. but I want to see that doc as well where there was this genre of music, this new genre that these guys were trying to invent, and uh, I don't, I don't know where it would have went. It, it would have been curious um, to see because it was at like a twinge of like Nirvana in these guys' music as well, where you're just like, all right, where were you going with this? And I, you know, I don't know if we'll have, ever have that answer, obviously. So, either way, fuck man, I listened to this guy all summer, and he was definitely going to be massive. Uh, but yeah. He's revolutionary for the fact that this music was was new. This whole genre was new, and I don't, I don't even know what you'd call it, to be honest with you. Uh, Jabes, living your best life today. Mm. Look hot. Oh, thanks. Proud of you. I have a photo shoot. Right Ooh, now. look at you. Ooh, things are, things are happening. I'm a mover and a shaker. Stick with me, babe. I'm going places. <laughs> I will, Jabes. Okay. I will. Thanks. But only because you asked me nicely. <laughs> For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.